All right, guys, so here I have that completed scorecard. Um, I made this available for you to download, so it's best to sit and print it and look at it. But if you haven't, I have a copy here online and I will kind of scroll through it as I punch in my data. So let me go now to my Rugby Ecology Game Tracker. And as you can see at the bottom here, you're going to have your game full and your season full and your game report. Okay, so more on the reports later. Let's just get dealing with the game full and the season full first. So this is my full and I want to simply punch all the data that I've tallied up there into my game tracker. So my, my mind goes a bit slow with numbers, so please bide with me. Just give me a few minutes to fill this in. It should take you roughly the same amount of time to do yours. So hopefully this will give you a sense of how long this takes and kind of show you properly how the process is done. All right, so I have over here, three, two, one, two, zero, 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 and I'm simply gonna punch it in there. Three, three, two, one, two, zero, zero, zero. All right, then we're gonna go over here. Now we have our territory events. 11, 18, 15, 8. 11, right, 18, 15, 8. Now I'm looking at my attacking stats for the first half. So 47, 13, 10, 6, 3, 8. 47, 13, 10, 6, 3, 8. I'm going to look at my defense. So my defense, my tackles there by the triangle, 38 and 7. I'm going to do my penalties and my turnovers as well. So 38, 7, 6, 8, 6, 4. All right, 38, 7, 6, 8, 6, 4. All right. And finally, we're going to do our set pieces. So I'm with my scrums. 5106921. Oh, oh, I forgot what that was. 510692140. 6921140. All right, and I can stick that one in there. I'll kick off they win. It's just the last three. So five, four, one. Five, four, one. All right, let's punch in the second half quickly as well. All right, so I have the one, two, one, one, zero, zero, one. One, two, one, one, zero, zero, one. I'm going to my territory events. So 14, 17, 20, and 8. 14, 17, 20, and 8. And next up, my attack. 41, 26, 6, 7, 3, 4. 41, 26, 6, 7. So three, four, six, seven, three, four. And then we go on into our tackles. 47, 6, 10, 4, 4, 47, 6, 10, 4, 4. Right, I'm at 10 hours last in 4, 4. So 7, 4, 4, 1, 7. Seven, four, four, uh, one, seven, and line out is the last one. Four, four, one, seven, eight. Where am I now? Line out, seven, sorry. Let me just make sure they do not make a mistake. So I'm starting with my line outs. Eight, two, four, six, one. Eight, two, four. Six, one, and finally our last three columns four four zero. All right, four four zero. 
Happy day. So as you guys will see on the game report over here, now that all my totals have been punched in, this last game should be on the game report. As you can see, yep, we have our statistics there for our last match, and I can now put my opponent's name in, who was Tim Tao. All right, so that's this game done. Now we can see what's going on in the season averages, but we still need to fill our season fuller. Game filler completed. Now there's my season filler, and this is now game number nine that I am filling in. So as you guys can see, there's already been eight games played. That's why on my season report, I've written the eight games, and this is the season average so far. So I can update this now to nine, because we're going to score nine games now, and I want to fill in all my details, first half and second half of game nine in. All right, so this is a simple process. I'm simply going to select all my rows, right click on it, copy, go into my season fill, and there at the top left corner, I can just copy and paste. All right, so there's all my uh, game number nine's data now in and my season report will suddenly have been updated to reflect nine games played. All right, so just a quick recap. I have my form. I fill it into my game filler over there. Make sure all of them are tallied correctly and I can fill them in. Then I copy all that data and I put it into the next available space. In my case, it's game number nine. And once that's put in my season update, oh, shucks. I just first need to put in there that nine games were played. All right, so, so it's important that I missed it because you might miss it as well. Just make sure on the nice yellow dot that you always put in the amount of games you have scored. All right, because that, that works with our calculations on our game report. So now our game report will be totally complete. All the season statistics would have been updated based on nine games that I've put up there. And we are absolutely ready now to generate a report. Okay, simple stuff on uh, our Google Sheets. We just go to File. We say Download As, and we want to download that as a PDF document. All right. So I'm going to save that as a PDF. As you can see, it's already been calibrated nicely to an A4 piece of paper. It will work the same on your side, provided you use Google Sheets. If you're going to go over to the dark side and use Excel, then just please check your settings on your page before you print it. All right, so I can now export this document and it's saved onto my hard drive. All right, let's look at that in our folder and see what it looks like. There we go. And I can open it up and there's all my last game statistics and my season statistics, nine games played so far. And now we can move over to module three because that's where we're going to study this results. All right, so that's fairly straightforward. You have your game tracker, game full, season full, game report. Everything's folding. You've generated your PDF, and now it's time to share this PDF with your coaches and start analyzing the data. And with that, we move over to module three.